Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So today is going to be a skip ahead to the future day. The future is next Saturday, and Firelands is back. After crying and crying and crying because of the stupid conquest event, you know, because of the global kingdom type thing, it messed up Firelands because they conflicted. Firelands you play, and at the end of Firelands, your troops are automatically healed and back. So they can't do con conquest and Firelands at the same time. And actually, if you if you talk with the developers and you kind of go into a little bit more detail about these events and what they were actually meant to do. So Firelands' original goal, it was supposed to be a way for people to in Dead Kingdoms to basically have a little bit of fun. Um, unfortunately, it's not very often. I mean, Firelands is like, you know, once every two weeks. Uh, so it's not very often. And, you know, it's really only for big spenders. Because, I mean, there's no mid-spender that's going to go in there and really have a lot of fun. I mean, you're going to go in there and, you know, do your best, but you're never going to take first place. Um, so, you know, it was a big spender event. It was only every two weeks. And it really didn't hit that sweet spot in terms of being a solution to dead kingdoms. So they really started to um, look for something else. And they came up with Conquest. And obviously Conquest, again, isn't a solution for dead kingdoms. It's It's stupid whatever it's just a gathering event i mean if you love intense farming yeah there you go conquest is for you but you know i mean obviously firelands is again a farming event but it's a little bit more active farming event because it's 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 really condensed down into one hour of pretty strong competition i got trolled constantly whenever i played uh, firelands but that was before dragon shadow uh, so now with Dragon Shadow, you know, you can actually send out five decent marches without worrying about one march being just totally mauled and destroyed. Um, however, my stats are dog poo-poo now, and um, so I'm not going to be competitive. Um, yeah, really tempting, but not at the same time. Uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, we're going to go look at some of these rewards because, honestly, 140 hours of speed ups just to go play in Firelands. That is like, I mean, if you have really decent training, that's like 1.72 million power for free. I mean, you know, 2 million power for free is not a bad deal. I mean, like, I could think of a lot of things that would be worse than 2 million free power. But the reason I'm actually making this video is because of this gold fire insignia. I, I honestly, I'm a little bit shocked. So in the top end for the training, that works out to be like 70-something. You know, I mean, between this and the other bonus, I mean, you're looking at like almost 80 million power for winning. And I don't know what they what they mean. It says you can choose one type of the rewards for your reward pool, and your reward will be randomly summoned from the reward pool. That's like, I, I don't know what exactly the reward pool is. That kind of confuses me. I mean, the reward pool, I mean, do you select intensity crystals and it's like a range between like one and four? I, I'm a little bit shocked here. Anyway, so 27,000 dragon essence, 80, 80 million power, research speed ups, all of this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Seriously, guys. Four level six intensity crystals. That's bananas. It used to take a long time to get that in the game. This means after roughly speaking, if my understanding is correct, after eight months, you'll have one time. Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, 10 months. Sorry. False alarm. 10 months. After 10 months, or basically one time a year, if you won straight through every two weeks, two times a month, you would have a level seven dragon skill. Okay. Level six, level seven is not the biggest thing in the world. I mean, it's like 12% damage modifiers when you actually look at the math and you compare the two. But, but anyway, it's for free. You win an event, you just consistently do it, and it's free. You get it. So, pow. That's, that's kind of cool. I'm really kind of excited about these rewards. I'm not going to be winning them. So, you know, big fat meh. Uh, but, I mean, like, if there was a reason for me to, like, like actually want to come back and, like, play and be competitive and stuff like that, this actually might kind of you know, get some people excited. Mm -hmm, maybe. Um, yeah, so Firelands, it's back, and with a vengeance. They still haven't re removed, like, infinite shields. Uh, they still haven't improved rallies. 
They still haven't done a lot of things, but at least Firelands is back. So, oh, and P.S., if you guys are wondering about a way to silence the uh, those really, really super annoying global kingdom horns, there's a perfect way to do it. I found the absolute perfect solution to it. And it's just like this. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. You close the app and you don't log back in. <gasps> That's it. That's the secret. All right, guys. Love you guys. And uh, bye-bye for now. Oh, if you're curious, feel free to say hi in the comments. If you miss me, don't miss me. Troll me. Whatever. Hey, you know, drop me a comment. I read them all. So, okay. Bye-bye, guys.